we have a question from gate 2013 me question is find the determinant of a 4 by 4 matrix the matrix is given to be 2 1 1 1 1 2 1 1 1 1 2 1 and 1 1 1 2 so this is a special matrix you can see that only the diagonal elements differ from all other elements all other elements are one also di diagonal elements are all same so you can think of this particular matrix as a sum of two different matrices that is all elements one in one particular matrix okay and the other particular matrix as a four by four identity matrix one zero 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 one zero 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 one zero and zero 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 one now once you have idea of this linear algebra concepts it is very easy to directly answer the determinant of this particular problem simply as looking into this particular problem you can say the determinant will be 5 how can you easily say the determinant to be 5 we need to know some concepts to easily say the answer as 5 instead of evaluating the determinant as a normal procedure which you have learned right so that the the points which need to be learned i'll display first we need to know these four points first the first point is if the rank of an n by n matrix is r then there will be n minus r eigenvalues which are zeros for example for example if you have the order of the matrix as 4 and rank as 2 then i can be pretty sure that 4 minus 2 eigenvalues will be 0 which means there will be two eigenvalues as zeros so in general if there are r if if the dimension of a matrix is n and if the rank of the matrix is r then there will be n minus r eigenvalues which are zeros that is the first point which you need to keep in mind the second point which you need to learn is product of eigenvalues will be always equal to the determinant of the matrix product of eigenvalues will be equal to the determinant of the matrix so that is the second point now the third point which you need to learn is if all rows of a matrix sum up to a single number then that number will be an eigenvalue if all rows of a matrix sum up to a single number then that number will be an eigenvalue right and you need to know one more thing this is an important property of a matrix if the eigenvalues of a matrix are lambda 1 lambda 2 etc lambda n then the eigenvalues of the matrix a plus i will be given by lambda 1 plus 1 lambda 2 plus 1 lambda 3 plus 1 etc lambda n plus 1 so i will list out i uh, will read out all the four points if the rank of an n by n matrix is r then there will be n minus r eigenvalues which will be zeros second point is product of eigenvalues will always be equal to determinant of the matrix third point is all rows of a matrix if it sum up to a single number then that number then that particular number will be an eigenvalue fourth point is if an eigenvalue of if eigenvalues of the matrix a are lambda 1 lambda 2 etc lambda n then the eigenvalues of a plus i will be lambda 1 plus 1 lambda 2 plus 1 etc lambda n now we will go back to the problem so once you have the knowledge of this uh, ideas about linear algebra you can check the rank of this particular matrix you can see all rows are same so what is the rank of this particular matrix it is one rank of that particular matrix is one rank is equal to one and the order of the matrix is four so there will be three eigenvalues which are zeros so i can say lambda one lambda two and lambda three the first three eigenvalues all are zeros right also i have all rows having the same numbers so all rows add up to the same value the value will be one plus one plus one plus one which is four correct all rows are adding up to the same number four so i have the fourth eigenvalue equal to four so i know the eigenvalues of this matrix as zero 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 and four now i am adding identity matrix to this so applying the last property i can say the eigenvalues of this particular matrix is lambda 1 plus 1, lambda 2 plus 1, lambda 3 plus 1 
and lambda 4 plus 1. So, the new eigenvalues of this matrix are 0 plus 1 which is 1, again 0 plus 1 which is 1, again 0 plus 1 which is 1 and the last eigenvalue is 4 plus 1 which is 1, sorry which is 5, okay. So, now I, now I have the eigenvalues as 1, 1, 1 and 5 and now we need to apply the property product of eigenvalues will give you the determinant of the matrix. So, the determinant will be equal to 1 into 1 into 1 into 5 that is equal to 5. So, it is very easy to visualize this problem as sum of two matrices and give the answer directly as 5. Thank you.